Today we're going to look at simplifying fractions. Now, to simplify fractions means that we write them so that we can't divide by the same number on both the top and the bottom of the fraction. That's a simplified fraction. Let's start with uh, this one right here, 12 over 48. Is there any number we can divide 12 and 48 by? Well, there's several actually. We could divide by 2 top and bottom. We could divide by 6. We could divide by what else? 4. We could divide by 12. Whatever you choose is up to you, but just know if you choose a smaller number than the maximum one, in this case is 12, you might have to do more steps. I'll do it both ways just to show you what I mean. Let's start by dividing by 12 on the top and the bottom of our fraction. So we're going to divide by 12 on top, divide by 12 on the bottom, and that gives us 12 divided by 12 is 1, and 48 divided by 12 is 4. Now, there's no number that we can divide 4 and 1 by except for 1, so we have a simplified fraction. We can also do this by dividing several times. What would happen if we would divide that by 4 rather than doing 12? Well, let's see. We have 12 over 48. Divide top and bottom by 4. Okay. 12 divided by 4 is 3 and 48 divided by 4 is 12. Now we need to look. Is there any number we can divide 3 and 12 by? Sure, 3. So now we need to divide by 3 on the top and the bottom of our fraction. So we divide by 3 and we divide by 3. That gives us 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And notice our answers are the same. We get one fourth. This one takes an extra step, but that's okay. If you want to divide by a smaller number, no problem. Just make sure that you end up getting that fraction into its simplest form. Make sure that there's nothing we can divide both of these by. So we have our simplest uh, fraction. How about three eighths? Can we simplify three eighths? Well, is there anything we can divide 3 and 8 by? Hmm. 1, but that's it. 3 is only divisible by 1 and 3, and 8 is not divisible by 3. So this is already in simplest form, so we're done. We'll leave it just like that. Now, we'll also see fractions that include variables. When you're given a fraction that involves a variable, kind of break it into two pieces here. Let's look at the part with the numbers, and then we'll also look at the letter part. Let's start with the numbers. We have 8 over 12. Now, 8 over 12, what can we divide both 8 and 12 by? 4, so I'll divide on the top by 4, divide on the bottom by 4, 8 divided by 4 gives me 2 over 12 divided by 4 gives me 3. I've got my number part done. I still have this PR and then a P on the bottom. Well, it turns out that if something's on the top and on the bottom, we can just cancel it out. It's like uh, if we have 4 divided by 4, 4 divided by 4 is just 1. Okay. The 4's essentially cancel out. Same thing if we have P divided by P, they cancel out and just give us 1. So the P's cancel out, and I'm left with just this R on the top. So I'll tack that on here, and there's my answer. 2R over 3. Let's take a look at another one. On this one, we have x squared y over 2x. There's no number on the top, 
There is a 1, however. Okay, if there's not a number sitting up here, we can tack on a 1 if we'd like. Sometimes that'll be important if everything else up here cancels out. There's always a 1 sitting up there. 1 half, that's already in simplest form, so there's nothing we can do with that. Let's look at the variables. We have x squared, y, and then an x on the bottom. Well, x squared, remember x squared really means x times x. And we, that means we have two x's on top and then one x on the bottom. So what I can do is just cancel out one of those x's. I'm going to change colors here. If I cancel out this okay. x and cancel out this x, I still have one x left over on top along with a y. So my answer becomes x, y, over 2. Okay, the x is canceled out. This became just an x because we had one x on the top, one x on the bottom. Those canceled out. Bring over what we have left. Here's our answer. <coughs> Hopefully that makes sense in terms of simplifying fractions. Again, the key is that we can't divide by anything the same thing on the top and the bottom of our fraction. That means it's in simplest form.